welcome to another flow-based class focusing on strength. So let's go ahead and begin. We'll start with a gentle warm-up. So coming to a cross-legged position, resting the hands on the knees. We'll ground through the sit bones and lift through the chest and breathe together for three rounds of breath. So let's go ahead and begin. Inhale, take a breath. And exhale. Inhale, lengthening and deepening the breath. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, take another breath. Exhale, we'll go ahead and look to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, looking left, turning the chin, aligning the chin with the shoulder. Inhale, center. Again, exhale, gazing right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, just rolling the shoulders for a few rounds. Continue to breathe. And rolling the shoulders forward. Good, and then from here, we're just going to loosen up the wrists, get the wrists prepared to, to work in our strength today. So interlacing the fingers, just rotating the hands. Good, continue to breathe. We'll rotate them in the other direction. Nice, okay, so let's bring the hands down to the floor, palms up, and then we're gonna bring them flat to the floor, heels the hands, facing outward, fingertips pointing towards you, and just lean the body weight over the hands to get this nice stretch through the wrist into the forearm. If the heel of the hand doesn't touch the floor, that's okay, you can still feel that elongation through the forearm, you can still feel the opening. One more breath. Good. Exhale, let's switch it around, tops the hands down. Spread the fingers out and just allow the, the heel of the hand or the base of the hand to just ground into the floor. If it doesn't touch the floor, that's okay. Just lean the body weight over the hands. There's no need to kind of push extra weight downward. Good, and then from here, we'll go ahead and bring both heels the hands together. Continue to spread the fingers and just gently lean the body weight over the palms. Good, and then from here, let's rotate to the other side. Good, let's go ahead and release. Inhale, take a breath. Exhale. We're gonna move to all fours. Bring your shoulders over the hands, the hips, over the knees. Spread the fingers wide. We're gonna do a few 
shoulder rolls here just to warm up the hands and the wrist again. So leaning the body weight in a clockwise rotation here. Continue to be mindful of your breath. Let's go ahead and reverse, going into a counterclockwise rotation. Good, and then from here, let's come back to neutral. Curl the toes under, and we're gonna lift up into downward facing position. Stretching through the arms, elongating and pressing through the hands. You'll feel that elongation through the sides of the waist. Breathe here a few rounds of breath. Good. And then from here, we're going to practice our plank position. So Let's go ahead and shift our weight forward, shoulders directly over the hands. We want the front body to work to the back body, resisting the body weight, pointing the tailbone toward the feet, lifting the chin slightly, hold. Try to resist the urge to arch the back and just sink down like so. So plank position is such a great total body strengthener. Continue to breathe. One more breath. And exhale, drop to the knees. Good job. Let's sit back on the heels, extend the hands, and let's rest the forehead on the floor. And we'll take a few resting breaths. One more breath. Good, let's take it back up. Curl the toes under. We'll go into down and facing position first. Pressing back and then inhale, shifting the weight forward. Remember, we wanna resist the weight of the body through the arms. Don't allow the shoulders to sink too much like this. Really resist, find that lightness and buoyancy in the arms. Draw the navel up, lift your chin. Just feel everything in the body activate. So we're always so much stronger than we think we are. So find that lift, find that lightness. Resist through the arms, a few more breaths. One more breath. Good, drop to the knees. And let's press back. Extended child's pose. We'll take a few resting breaths. Good, we're gonna prepare for one more plank position. Fingers spread wide, curl the toes under. Downward facing. And inhale, shift forward and hold. If you feel not so strong, just take it back to the breath, resisting through the hands. I've been told that firefighters are supposed to hold this for four minutes, so we're not holding that long, but we can still feel it. Lift your navel, resist the body weight. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good, exhale, drop the knees. Sitting back on the heels, drop the forehead, taking a few resting breaths.
Good, and from here, let's inhale, come up, back to our kneeling position. Let's just go ahead and stretch through the arms, stretch the palms out, inhale. Stretch the arms overhead, stretching nice and long, hands lifting up toward the ceiling. Good, and then exhale, release the hands. We're gonna go through our cycle of vinyasas, going into plank position for a full inhale, exhale, dropping to Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing and downward facing. We're gonna repeat this and learn how to really resist the body weight and flow through the breath. So again, if you need to drop to the knees in Chaturanga, do so, or drop the belly to the floor. Let's take a breath and downward facing. Inhale, shift forward, plank position. Lift your chin slightly, resist the body weight. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Hold, inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Again, inhale, shift forward, plank position, full breath. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Let's do one more. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing position. Legs nice and strong. Exhale, downward facing. Let's go ahead, drop down to the knees. And come, once again, extended child's pose. Taking a few breaths. Inhale, coming back up to kneeling. We'll stretch the arms again, palms out. Inhale. Stretching the palms upward. Inhale. And exhale. Release the hands. We're gonna go into our high plank, coming down into low plank, and then building our way back up. So for today, we're gonna to go through five rounds on each side. So we're gonna to try to resist the body weight as best we can, keeping the body line as strong and straight as possible. So let's come into downward facing first. Inhale, shift forward. Plank position, align the shoulders directly over the hands. Good. We're going to start on the right side first, dropping down, low plank, keeping the body line nice and strong, and coming up. This is one. Pushing through the arms. This is two. Three. Try not to allow the bottom to lift up too high. Four. And five. Very good, drop to the knees. Let's press back. Taking a few breath rests. We'll do another set. Curl the toes under, downward facing. Inhale, shift forward. And starting on the left side, dropping down, low plank. One. Two. Three. Resist through the arms. Four. Five. Good, drop to the knees. 
Stretching back. Drop the forehead to the floor gently. Breathing here. Good. So just one more variation to plank. We're gonna align the shoulders directly over the hands. I'm going to push forward through the balls of my feet, resist the body weight, and then rotate back in alignment. Going forward and back. Lift your chin slightly. Keep the body line nice and strong. Resist the body weight. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. One more, inhale forward, exhale back. Very good. Stretching into our extended child's pose once again. One more breath. Good, coming up to Kneeling, press the palms out, inhale, stretch the arms upward, palms facing upward, inhale, exhale, release the arms. We'll come into a seated cross-legged position. We'll go ahead and practice our Ushplutihi, so whether with cross legs or lotus position. Remember, if you're crossing the legs, keep the knees into your chest. Even if you have to do a, a healthy cheating, keeping your, your toes on the floor, what's most important is that your knees stay in your chest. That will activate the core. Let's go ahead, hands down. Go ahead and lift up, lift your chin. And we'll be here for 10 counts. That's one, two, this strengthens the lower belly area as well as the upper body. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten very very good go ahead and release the legs nice and easily we're going to go ahead and go into a lying down position coming into resting allow the legs to roll open Open the arms, allow the palms to face upward. We'll breathe together two times. Inhale, full breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, release. Closing the eyes, allowing the body just to melt into the floor, entering into deep relaxation. Okay, so thank you for today's practice working in our strength. We will see you in the next class. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.